Good afternoon students. Welcome back to our channel like said CT. So here we are going to discuss about the test dates available for May 2024. So those who are planning to write your IELTS exam by May 2024. In this video you will be clear about the best test date for academic and gender module and what are things you can expect during your test date which means the level of the test, the question types or generally the topics, the audio type, everything we will discuss during this section. Try to watch the entire section I will mention regarding the best test date specifically for academic and gender. No need to ask again and again in the comment box related to the best test date. I will mention that clearly in this video. Okay, so let's start with our section. And once again, it's very happy to announce that during the month of March, question passages for the reading module, at least one of the passages for the each test dates. It's from our reading ebook, especially for the academic students and all. They are really happy and proud about the things, about their exam experience and all. I'm also very happy to introduce that ebook with you guys. So if you are planning to give your test during the May month also, you can apply the same book if you have that in your hand or you can share with your friends. Those who need the ebook, you can conduct via the WhatsApp number provided here. Actually, for academic module, we are planning to release volume 2. Okay, that also including 50 passages and all. So, we are planning to do that. So, those who need the copies, you can conduct via the WhatsApp number provided here. So, now we will check out which all are the test dates available for May month. I will show you here. So, the first test date, May 4th that will be Saturday with academic only test date so the first test date is academic only and the second test date 9th May Thursday that will be academic and gender module the third will be 18th May Saturday with academic only so in the alternative days only we can see the test like academic academic and gender like that then the last is the 25th May Saturday with academic and gender module. So we will discuss about each and every test date in detail. So first one 4th May Saturday as I mentioned it's an academic only test date. So listening section and the reading module both will be in easy to moderate level. So in listening section you can expect the fill up type of question that will be one word only in the form of not completion summary completion and also form completion uh, maybe in part one itself they will divide the fill up into two one to five one set six to ten and the set like that but as usual the conversation will continue like a telephony conversation between two speakers part two you can expect again the conversation between two or it will be like a monologue of a person so most probably uh, this time you can expect map completion type of question and also short MCQ. Part 3 will be large MCQs and matching type of question. Again part 4 with the fill up type of question. Overall the audio will be easy to understand uh, but you should uh, concentrate on different accent this time. They can include this Canadian, British, American, Australian all the type of accent. So you should be familiar and uh, you need to understand the pronunciation and all okay so try to move through the updated materials which are for listening module if you completed with the cambridge textbook in the sense you can just move on through uh, the updated or the real test they will publish in different youtube channels and all you can just go through that and adjust your background speed it's always better to uh, practice with the normal speed first then you can increase to 1 1.25 and all okay then it will be easy in the real test uh, then as I mentioned so the listening section will be in easy to moderate level now moving on to the reading module It also will be in easy to moderate or moderate We can say one of the passage will be a little bit tricky remaining two will be easy There is a chance to get your repeated passages too. So try to practice if you want again if you want the updated materials means you can contact us for the ebook 
the question category will be fill up type of question you can expect in all the set like uh, sentence completion not completion then uh, summary completion and all then true false not given this time you need to concentrate on yes no not given category to you and another will be mcq and match the information match the information type of question anyway it's like a mandatory they will ask you in one or two set of matching type of question most probably which paragraph contain this information so that type of category so if you are not good at reading module means we have reading only sections uh, we are giving 10 day section for reading only uh, with minimal cost you can join for that then you will be familiar with all the type of question type how to deal with that we will um, take some real passages and uh, we'll discuss in the class itself so you will be familiar about different types of question how to deal with that and all so that will be one to one section according to your convenience you can join for the section now about the writing module uh, you need to concentrate on line and bar more and have a look at map and table okay and for writing task to opinion type essay that will be the task but uh, check out with the discuss both views and state your opinion to you so that about the first test date may 4th overall the test date will be in a moderate or easy to moderate we can see you need to practice a lot and coming to the second test date 9th may that will be thursday with academic and gender module actually for uh, academic students uh, this will be my first recommendation so you will get enough time to prepare for your exam also that's why i made this video a little bit early uh, so you can plan your test and you can uh, make the timetable and practice accordingly this is the time uh, you can utilize to um, find out the materials and also to practice at least try to do one set of listening one set of reading in a day for writing and speaking definitely it's better to you consult any instructor or trainer or any expert uh, to make the corrections and all okay if you are in an average level and all if you know all the basics you already appeared for ilts exam means you can polish your language skill with the help of some youtube videos uh, and all okay so about the second test date uh, this will be my first suggestion for academic students uh, first we will discuss about the listening section it will be easy you can expect a normal pace and british accent will be more in the audio so it will be easy to understand you can expect fill up type of question matching type of question then selection of later category they will give one question along with five option now that particular category one or two set they can ask for and uh, fill up more questions related to fill up type of question 20 to 25 questions you can expect under fill up most of them find easy to do fill up type of question mostly one word only now so we need to concentrate on that particular word okay uh, again that will be in sentence completion form or uh, summary completion format uh, now coming towards the reading section for academic students you should concentrate on the question category like true false not given uh, fill up type of question matching type of question which paragraph contain this information or they will give options like a list of people or a list of articles something like that and you need to cross it then uh, there is a chance to get a four to five mcqs uh, so two passages will be easy and one will be easy to moderate i won't say that it will be tricky at all it will be easy to understand you can uh, practice eye reading rather than jumping into the question and go to the detailed reading first have a look at the passage try to understand the concept by spending five minutes over there then you can move on to the question that will be better okay so practice are you reading now about the general module candidate a reading section will be in easy to moderate level you can expect fill ups more in different format in a uh, second section and all will be full of fill ups in one table completion means along with that they can ask for one not completion okay and first part true false not given then matching type of question last part that lengthy passage now they can ask for mcqs fill ups and one set of uh, this matching type again so that will be the question category overall it will be easy okay you need to concentrate towards the last passage that lengthy passage remaining you can spare 10 minutes and all okay 
So try to adjust your time and spend more on uh, the last section. Now coming towards the writing section, uh, bar and table you should concentrate for academic module task 1 and for task 2 opinion type and outbay type you should concentrate. Anyway detailed preparation guide I will make and if there is any changes according to the trend means I will update you during that time. Okay this is generally I want to give an outline related to the exam that's why you can book your seat as soon as possible now that's why. Okay, uh, now about to the general module candidates, formal letter in task 1 and for task 2, discussion or opinion type essay. So that's about the second test date, uh, 9th May. Uh, so again, for academic student, this will be the best test date. Now, moving towards the third test date, 18th May 2024, Saturday, with academic only. If you are not ready to give your test on 9th, uh, then move on with 18. You will get uh, one another week for your preparation and all. So uh, try to move on with 18th May. This will be my second suggestion for academic students. And uh, for uh, this category of question for listening module, you can expect fill up type of question, matching type of question, selection of letter. There is less chance to get map completion, but you should concentrate on selection of letter category. They can ask for one, two or three set this time. Okay, one question along with five option, you need to select two from that. Like that, they can ask one, two or three set. Okay, that will be like what the speaker says about this thing, like that. So they will give you some uh, options now. All the options they will mention in the audio. So you should concentrate on the positive presentation. Then only you can crack your answers very fast. Now about the audio type, uh, that will be mostly telephonic conversation in part one. Second part will be social discussion. Part three will be like an academic discussion between students. And part four with a lecture. Okay, so overall it will be in little bit moderate we can say, but it will not be so hard. Uh, the pace that will be little bit fast in part 3 and 4. That is the only thing you should concentrate. So plan better. Whenever you get time to read out your question or to check out the answer, try to spend for the next uh, section or the task to read out the questions. Check out with the synonyms. Okay, predict your answers. Now coming towards the reading module, um, the reading section will be easy. Only one of the passage will be related to science, invention and all. So they can ask for more uh, matching type of questions, selection of letter category, MCQs and all. If they are giving uh, the passage related to the science, invention and all. Some author's name or some scientist name will be there. Their scientific findings will be there. So they can ask for matching type of question. They will give dialogues. Uh, the list of people in their box you need to cross it or list of heading type of question. So that one particular passage will be little bit tricky. Other than that, the two of them will be smooth going related to the society, the human life, uh, the animals or the oriented to the trees, forest like that. Okay. And the question category, as I mentioned, matching type of question, Phillips, true, false, not given, MCQs. Uh, this will be the general category. Now about to the writing module, you should concentrate on diagram pie chart and also table more in task 1 and for task 2 problem solution essay, opinion type essay and discuss both views and state your opinion. So these all are the category generally you need to give more importance towards. So whenever you are um, planning for the essay try to follow the updated structure. Now also most of the students are writing in 2003 or 2010 that model and all. So always try to update the structure of uh, essays and do that. So then only you will get uh, the band 6 and above. If you are not writing in exact structure means you can't able to score above 6. Okay, so try to keep that in your mind. Uh, follow the updated structure, the rules and regulation, um, everything. Okay, what all are the things you can do and you don't want to do? Okay, this should be clear. In IDP website and all for or each and every skills, they mention the do's and don'ts. So try to go through that. You will get some free materials, the practice sections in the official site also. 
So try to do that. Now coming towards the last test day, 25th May, that will be again Saturday with academic and gender module. Actually, I will suggest this particular test date for general module candidate. You will get more than enough time uh, to prepare for your test also. So if you are if you need more time to prepare for your exam and you're con not confident with the 9th May means try to move on with the 25th May for general module I'm saying academic we already discussed and again you also need more time means you can go with the 25th anyway overall test will be in a moderate level we can say it will not be so hard actually we are not expecting any hard level test in uh, May month uh, so mostly the most of the students are planning to write their test on May month rather than the April month and all so I think the overall test will go in easy to moderate level so you will get enough time to prepare also so don't waste your time and don't waste your money also if you are confident only give your test let uh, prepare for some time okay take some time and prepare for your test okay rather than jumping into the test simply wasting your time energy money and all okay so 25th will be best for uh, gender module candidate and regarding the uh, question types or the overall view of the test for listening section they can ask for short and long mcqs then uh, fill up type of question and also matching type audio will be little bit fast in part three but it will not be so hard to understand and all and uh, you can expect australian and british accent more coming towards the reading module uh, this time one of the passage will be related to biography or autobiography of a person they can give uh, or the heading also will be related to a person okay the william henry or william perkin and also many passages we uh, have related to this biography studies and also this time also uh, they can ask for one biography and the remaining two of the passage will be related to this social uh, the marine life or the animals um, or related to the children the play activities the influence of computer like that concept they can ask in the remaining passages the category of question will be matching type of question will be more they can give like a list of heading which paragraph contain this information or along with the options then fill up also they can ask in different variety not completion sentence completion or along with the option also they can ask for so if they are giving options and all means think about the synonym mode okay and it's always better to compare all three passages prior to you jumping into your test and all compare all three passages by going through the title or subtitle think about the concept then according to your area of interest you can select one then you can complete within 15 minutes of time and all you can save your time now about the other categories is yes, no not given category two folds not given category mcqs this will be the category of question and for general module candidates um, again fill up type of question will be more uh, part one you can expect two folds not given along with fill ups section two will be completely fill up type of question section three will be mcqs matching type and fill up type of question uh, reading will be super cool super easy you are not confident to give your test uh, at the initial days and all means take your time prepare well and more with this last test date for gender module now about the writing module for uh, academic section concentrate on infographic structure more line bar pie table they can ask for the combination format too and for task two problem solution outweigh category and also opinion type essay and for general module informal letter you should concentrate and for task two problem solution opinion type essay these are the two different categories i will mention okay. as i mentioned before if there is any changes according to the trend means i will update that in the preparation guide that's why i always suggest you to watch the preparation guide also even though you go through this overview section and all uh, so try to book your seats as soon as possible and plan each and every day what I need to complete. Uh, so try to do all four modules in a day. Okay, you can divide your time accordingly and try to do one set of listening and reading in a day. Go through all the Cambridge material, especially about 10. 
11 to 18 that particular books you need to complete and other than that for reading module you need updated materials means you can contact via the number and we will provide that and if you need any particular skill training that will be writing only section or writing correction surveys the detailed lecture for writing we have different courses for writing section because most of them find difficulty in writing so we are ready to help you out uh, in any mode okay and it is individual classes no need to worry about what others will think if I'm asking for one doubt and all no need to worry about that it is individual section most of the classes will be under me only I will be taking this classes according to the time slot or the free slot uh, so you can just contact via the whatsapp number and you can uh, you will get to the tariff the course details and all accordingly you can join for that and we have reading only courses or speaking only courses all four skill training we have under crash courses and also for this regular batches uh, so you can book your seats as soon as possible so all the very best for your test day try to do your best okay no need to think about reappearing the test or re-evaluation you are and all you should be confident about giving your test then book your seat go ahead so thank you so much and God bless you all and stay tuned for more Altis related video. Bye bye.